play sports, and we'll get to see a pair of teams who fought multiple times in the Super Bowl. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots, and it's coming up next. On a warm and sunny afternoon in the Bay State of Massachusetts, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway in Foxborough. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out come the Eagles for the first time. And the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off the season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. Got him in, it's Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Already a terrific receiver, Brown has taken his game to another level since arriving in Philadelphia. He's totaled just under 3,000 receiving yards over the last two years, and he's someone who raises the ceiling of the entire offense whenever he's out there. His goal for this season, get Philadelphia back to the Super Bowl with a chance to win it. Juwan Bentley was the one who found his way through and finished off that play. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is, and what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. They were backed up behind the sticks, but he still found a way to make that first down happen. That's the kind of fight every coach hopes his franchise quarterback has in him. Look a tough situation like that in the eye and come up with a solution on the spot. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is into the hands of Campbell downfield. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Paris Campbell, 39 yards. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Just a four-play drive that time. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here come the Patriots to take over for the first time, led out by the rookie, the third overall pick back in April out of UNC, and that's Drake May. And it's been a long time, but this franchise entered the offseason desperately needing a young quarterback to build around and plan for the future, and they found their guy in Drake May out of North Carolina. Big arm, great mobility, terrific character. He's everything you're looking for in a quarterback. It may bring him along slowly, but I believe in time, he will be their QB1 and be there for a long time. Throwing here is May. This one left side caught by Gibson. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. His first pass attempt of the game, Charles, and the pass rush was right there to hit him. But no fear, he delivered an accurate ball. Nice catch. And you never want to see your quarterback getting hit, but it also sends a message to the rest of the team when he's able to take that shot and still deliver downfield. Showing a little toughness, and the team rallies around him. This could really help him on their drive. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Defensively, it was Avante Maddox with a tackle. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winging in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down at six now from the 42. To throw, it's May. Hunter Henry brings it in. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as a tackle made up at the 48-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 18 big yards on that one and a New England first down. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time... How about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. Off the play fake. Here's May. Completes it to Douglas. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. The first-round pick looking comfortable in this offense. First down. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. To the air, May. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Patriots respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it. A lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at seven. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it ends with a New England touchdown.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and four. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this... Here's a diving catch right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. You just saw the speed, folks, of Marcus Jones back there in a flash to drop him. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 19. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Throwing his hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Anthony Jennings able to take him down. It's a loss of three. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Hurts sets up to throw it. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. They'll set up a throw. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. 
Anthony Jennings. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. They'll set up to throw. But it's caught on the right side of Smith. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. A 10-yard completion, but still now facing third and goal. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have taken the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A 10-play drive that time. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He connected on all five of his throws on that opening drive and finished it with a touchdown pass as they begin here first and 10. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. They'll throw with May. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs them up five yards. So now they need seven yards on third down. Looking to throw. May. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 
Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's May. They set up the screen for Stevenson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Second down and a little more than a yard here. From the gun, it's May. Short pass caught by Henry, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Touchdown, Patriots! Juju Smith-Schuster, a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Sly on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. 
This short throw caught by Goddard. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's Hurts to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll, and now they're set up with a first and 10. Back to throw again. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! A.J. Brown as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball, or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Clock at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now a second and two. Throwing here is May. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. And that right there, his first incompletion of the game, pretty remarkable. So let's start talking about all-time records because with that incompletion, maybe over a two-game sequence or maybe starts a new streak now because Ryan Tannehill, over two games, hit 25 straight. Now, the incompletion, we're, we're taking this record out of play. But Mark Brunel, when he's a Washington, 22 straight completions to start a game. This guy's on fire. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Go 
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This from 54 yards away. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay at a seven-point game. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And able to get this out to the 25. Well, the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw, it's May. Open man, that's Henry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Second down and a yard. In motion is Austin Hooper. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. A quick pass out to Juju. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Now that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. To the air, May. 
And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. From the shotgun, May with it. This will be caught at about the six. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Gibson here running out of the gun. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. A five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are an extra point away from drawing level. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Now Joey Sly for the point after. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So that one along 11-play drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Well, the Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Up the middle with Barkley. Dances by him. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here now, third and a yard.
They go play action with Hurts. Open man is Uzama. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route, but he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing his hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. From the 44-yard line, here's second and four. Hurts. Over the middle complete. That's Smith. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 36. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he'll get it inside the 35. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. They're going to look to throw. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 22-yard line. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll give them eight that time. And they'll be left with second and a couple. He's been a busy. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Second and a couple. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, hauled in by Campbell. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And the throw and the catch were just fine. But again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. 
Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Open man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it has been punch, counterpunch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Elliott good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's May. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Give that sack to Kobe Dean. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback, and you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. Shelling through the defense. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll throw with May. He's got Hooper on the short connection. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down. And they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with May. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give them a new set of downs. I'll tell you what. This is not for the fate of heart right here. Fourth down. This is taking a big risk. But it's as good a play call as you can imagine. And the defense, just not able to come up with the stop they needed. And this is not just a first down, but a big play as well. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Looking to throw, May. He's got Hooper on the short connection. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position.
Second down, eight yards to go. He'll look to throw. And this one hauled in. Again, it's Hooper. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. A big play looming on third down. They'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Inside of a minute to go now, two timeouts left, still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here if they use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. Back to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost them. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves them out there with another chance. Here now, second and 10 from the 13. Back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. Well, it certainly felt like he was going to challenge this defense no matter what. And he stepped up and tried to throw it to the outermost edge of the zone coverage. And they were more than ready for him. The problem now is if they are limited in what they're doing throwing the football, they got to figure out how to move it without being able to throw it to the outside and throw it downfield. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> oh, the return is Jones. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.